my name is himanshu gupta and i will be presenting a work paper robust object detection in challenging weather conditions on behalf of my co-authors alexander hendrick and akhim object detection is vital for safety in autonomous driving nowadays object detection is more robust and accurate due to better deep learning models and the availability of vast data sets However, adverse weather like rain, fog, and snow still poses challenges. The challenges arises due to unavailability of a well-balanced all-weather data set and the obscure object features due to complex weather noise. Hence, the motivation of this work is to find how to train a robust object detection model in absence of real adverse weather data sets. In recent year new data sets with adverse weather conditions have been published but they either lack well balanced all weather conditions or the data set is available but not labeled which raises the need to generate synthetic weather noise some work uses analytical approaches to generate augmented weather but these approaches fail to replicate intricate noise pattern other work uses gan models to generate weather augmentation which create realistic noise patterns but fail to generate minor details like rain streaks and snowfall and sometime alter the objects in the images and to the best of our knowledge no work investigated the approach of using style transfer for weather augmentation Another approach investigated in the literature is denoising e- images using the adverse weather denoising method and then doing object detection using model trained on clear weather images however most studies only work with single weather and no comparison with other approaches is provided The objective of this work is to evaluate and compare various approaches to train or test a robust object detection model in absence of adverse weather scenarios. The first approach uses only basic augmentations like blurring, noise, pixel dropout and others to mimic the adverse weather effect. The second approach is to generate synthetic weather augmentation using analytical method gan models or neural style transfer algorithm the third approach includes adverse weather denoising followed by object detection for analytical weather augmentation we developed an approach that considers image illumination and weather type to decide the parameters like fog color visibility range and image darkening factor we use lime method to estimate the image illumination and for depth estimation we use the midas model then using the weir lambert law of attenuation we generate the fog effect for rain and snow pattern generation we use image processing steps to convert gaussian noise into rain streaks or snow flakes and then merge the pattern to a foggy image using the alpha blending approach where the blending factor is estimated by the illumination map for gan method we train three cyclic gan models for clear to adverse weather image to image translation for clear images we used berkeley deep drive data set and for noisy images we used borias data set for training for neural style transfer augmentation we used the bgc model trained as a weather classifier all the images with weather augmentation require rechecking of the object labels each synthetic weather augmentation method has some pros and cons as seen in the figure analytical approach fail to generate realistic weather pattern while gan augmentation fails to generate rain streak and snowflake and 
style transfer approach fails to do both properly. For adverse weather denoising methods, we selected analytical and deep learning methods. If the original implementation is available and the pre-trained model is available for deep learning model. In our experiment, we used Berkeley Deep Drive dataset for training and validating the model with two object classes. And for testing, we used clear weather images from Udacity and adverse weather images from Dawn dataset. We created five different training sets, which include clear weather, real all weather images, augmented weather images using analytical weather augmentation, GAN weather augmentation and style transfer augmentation. We used YOLO V5 as object detection model with 640 pixels image size. Each model is trained using stochastic gradient descent optimizer with learning rate of 0.01 for 50 epochs. We use three image augmentation policies. First one is geometric and mosaic. Second policy uses geometric mosaic color augmentation similar to YOLO library. And third policy also implements geometric mosaic and color augmentation to mimic the weather effects, which includes motion blur, pixel dropout and other augmentation. In total, we trained 11 YOLO models and the result on test data set is presented in the table. From the table, we can conclude that real all weather data set resulted in high mean average precision, while best overall precision emerged from clear weather image set. Train set created using style transfer exhibited higher MAP compared to other synthetic weather augmentations and also clear weather images plus basic augmentation. For evaluation of object detection on adverse weather denoised images, we used YOLO model trained with clear images and geometric augmentation. We found that most denoising method led to decline in object detection performance compared to object detection on original noisy images. In conclusion, we found that basic image augmentation does improve object detection in adverse weather cases, but the improvement is less if we train the model using synthetic weather augmentation. Out of all three synthetic weather augmentations, style transfer resulted in better object detection for all weather conditions. And the method of using object detection on denoised images resulted in burst performance, which raises the need to develop denoising method with focus on the use of denoised images in downstream computer vision tasks like detection, segmentation and others. Thank you for listening.